Hello, you're looking at a 1990 Tioga Arrow by Fleetwood on a Chevy chassis, Chevy one-ton chassis. This vehicle runs great for as old as it is, and it has six, like, brand new tires on it. It's got, uh, you know, $1,000 worth of rubber here. Um, it, the inspection on it is expired, but it was only done about a thousand miles ago. <clears throat> Excuse my cough here. The body's in pretty good condition for a 90. It's not perfect. This was a trade-in on a new vehicle, on a new RV. Let's take a quick climb up here. I don't kill myself. I didn't do it to take a picture. There we go. Roof looks pretty solid. It does have a leak up front. <coughs> and about 80% of all the, <coughs> of the RVs like this with the overhang have a little bit of a leak. So it needs to be sealed up front. If you're looking for a cheap murder home or a starter, that would be this one. It's clean enough inside to use just like it is. Actually qualifies for historic tags in Maryland, so it doesn't need any inspection. Inside's nice and clean. Now the back has a fold down. Pull this blind up the rest of the way. There we go. Pull the blind up the rest of the way, and uh, anyway, it folds down in the back. It's got an RV refrigerator. Now, I am told the air blows cold and the refrigerator works. Take that as a grain of salt, because I'm not guaranteeing anything, because it's a 1990. But the people that traded it in said everything worked fine. So, I'm not guaranteeing that. Use that for your information. Figure it to be bad, and if it's good, you'll come out way ahead. It's got a nice little potty in here. Vanity. Stand-up shower. I'm a tall guy, I can fit in there. We had it detailed from a detail shop, but it needs to go and over on the inside. It has the books on the inside. So I'll slide around while we drive. Front looks nice and nice and uh, clean. So there is a leak up in the front. You can't see it, and actually under here, it's not wet. <clears throat> it slides down. But I was told that uh, by the cleanup guys that when they backed it up, some water poured out of the front. So don't want any surprises there. I'm telling everything like I see it. But for a 90, I think it's real nice. If you're looking for a party vehicle, a tailgater, or again, a cheap overnighter to start out, and you can do some work yourself, it looks the same as the newer ones, uh, you'll get a great buy here. When I got here, it's been about a week and a half since I started it. Started right up. It does have an exhaust noise, too. It quiets down. You can hear that. After you start driving it, it quiets down. You can see some water coming out of there when I bend it forward. Now, I wouldn't be concerned about driving this thing. Oh, a thousand miles, no problem. It drives great. And that's the one thing my mechanic and cleanup shop said they were uh, excited as to how nicely it drove. Put on my seatbelt 
here. I come to PA a lot and get vehicles that were trade-ins in this area. The people are real nice in the smaller towns of Pennsylvania and they have a yearly inspection and just tend to take nicer care of their vehicles. And the yearly inspection gets the maintenance done and speaking of that, the fan is not blowing on the air or heat. So the fan is not blowing there. So it may need a fuse or a blower motor. It gets going nicely. Got some squeaks, but take her with it, and uh, I think she has a lot of life left in it. There's 55 miles an hour. Go straight down the road. Easiest pie to drive. No check engine lights or anything. The engine's in uh, good shape. Uh, as soon as I find a spot to turn around here. I think it'll be right here. So, take a turn around. There we go. If you're coming from a distance, we're located in Manchester, Pennsylvania. It's about 20 miles north of York. I am a dealer, but not at this location. I just don't have room for all the RVs you'll see on my listings right now. But we will pick you up at the Harrisburg Airport, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, or the um, train or bus station in Harrisburg or rent a car and drop it off at the airport, something similar to that, or come with a friend. There's a little pony walk in there, pretty neat. Um, when the buyer comes to pick this up, you'll get a clear title, bill of sale, and a 60-day temporary license tag to drive your vehicle home on and drive around once you get home. This is a no reserve auction which means that any bid can get it. So please do not bid unless you can finish the transaction. You'll need $250 at the end of the auction and a balance is due within seven days. Now you have 30 days to pick it up but the balance is due within seven days. If you're thinking about shipping Look at uship.com. It's the letter U and SHIP.com. Our zip code is 17345. 17345. Town of Strinestown, Manchester. It's a neat little town. So um, if you're looking for an inexpensive motorhome that runs well, needs some cosmetics on the outside, has a lot of life left, you'll want to buy this Tioga Arrow.